Greetings, Fiber Channel Marauders. This is Mene Ellos, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to teach you how to change the uh, key bindings for Cyberpunk. Not only those that uh, comes in the graphic interface, but also in the that are har somehow hard binded to the to the very system. Like for instance, the F key. So let's go with it. So as I was previously saying in this intro, uh, you can go to settings and try to change the key bindings, but they are not going to work. Uh, you can see here that uh, to move forward, back, left and right, I have the arrow keys. That's not because I, um, I'm i left-handed, okay? But, uh, you know, I've been playing shooters since they almost came to the market. Uh, Doom, the original game like Castle Wolfstein, uh, even Half-Life and so on and so forth. And by that time, they were not uh, so common to use a WSD keys to move, okay? That, that came afterwards. So, uh, you know, I've been used to play with the arrow keys since the very beginning and I find much easier to modify the current keys that used to come with the, with the video games rather than modify my brain that uh, I would be much I mean it would be much harder for me to do so but uh, getting back to the cyberpunk 2077 you can see here that um, you know I have the arrow keys here mapped somehow but if I try to change them somehow for other kind of key or something, I'm gonna get an error, all right? You, you, you have seen the screen right now. Let's let's do it again. You know, binding fail. It doesn't work properly. So how can we change this? Okay, let's go outside. Let's uh, okay. Let's close Cyberpunk because you know music is a little bit awful. It's too too high. Okay, so how do we do that? The first thing we have to do is to browse. You know, open our our uh, you know folders navigator or however this calls uh, explorer or somehow you know I don't remember the name in English. Sorry, uh, but we have to go to this uh, to this uh, folder structure here. We gotta go to the users folder. Uh, then we go to Luis. In my case, it's Luis. For you, will be another name because you know, in a post of imagination, I, I decided to call the administrator user with my name. Okay, that that setting will be completely different for you. It will be uh, whatever the name you have put for the for the administrator user. You know, so you, you will see here in another folder. Anyway, you click on them. Double click. Uh, you go to the app data. You will see this folder, which is uh, hidden. Okay, it, it, you you can see the the, the icon fade because um, you know it's hidden. You have to uh, allow in control panel to see hidden folders. Okay, and, and files. So app data, local, and then you go, you browse to the CD project red folder, and there you will see the Cyberpunk 2077 folder. And here is the file, user setting.json. Okay, you have to open it with uh, some uh, program that uh, allow you to, to, easy, uh, to easily edit it. Uh, I have used this one. This is uh, Notepad++. It's uh, free. Uh, free software. Uh, I'm gonna set in, in, the, in the comments below. I, I'm gonna leave the the, um, the link so that you can download it. But it's absolutely free. It has the, the property that it allows you to. Um, no, I don't want to download anything now. Uh, it allows you, or it it highlights in another color the important uh, you know text. So yeah, uh, here you can see. All these key bindings that are used for the, in this case, for the locomotion, you have to, um, to scroll down to this uh, group name, okay, where you can see key binding settings locomotion, and you will see, for instance, that the uh, this group of of uh, text here is allowing you to modify the arrow keys or modify the the keys that comes uh, by default for this uh, particular action. So if you want to move forward, you will see that the default value here, this this field. Is highlighted with IK uh, down strike W. Okay, that's the default value that I would have if uh, if I didn't modify it. But this is the value that is currently using, so you can change it here. Okay, if you if you uh, it would come with with a W, but I changed it to up. Okay, so if you do so in your in your file, you will be able to uh, you know to use the arrow keys or whenever other keys that you want or whatever other keys you want to use. Okay, there are people that plays with 
ESDF rather than with uh, WASD. So it doesn't matter. You can change it here. You know, uh, you couldn't change it before, uh, but you can change it now. So if you want to use the arrow keys, you just have you just have to put up for this action. Just uh, you know, be careful with the with the text you put here because it is case sensitive. So if you put up, you have to put it with the uh, with the U in case. Okay, like here is down with the D in case, uh, left with the L, and so on and so forth. So that's all of it. Uh, you, you you can change the you know the the key the key bindings just by enter here. But we are talking about the key bindings that are changeable uh, between many quotes from the user interface. What happens with those keys that are hard coded or hard binded, like F, for instance? You know the the, the evil key F. Okay, there is another way to do it. We we can also do as you can see here. You can also these other tabs. You can you can also do through um, this Notepad plus 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 program. But you have to go here. You know, it, it, this is um, stored in a different folder. Uh, you have to go to the folder where the game has been installed. Uh, in my case, I use GOG as a, the platform to play Cyberpunk and Baldur's Gate and other games. Uh, and you have to go there. Okay. Uh, in your case, it can be D two points or whenever, whatever other uh, you know uh, unit in which you have installed the, the the video game. Anyway, you go here into the Cyberpunk folder. Then you click on R6, config, and then you see here another uh, files. Okay, we are going to work with input user mappings.xml. First thing to do, just make a backup, all right? Because this, um, let me say, this uh, file has not default values you can call or you can, you know, you can summon at some point. So if you change something here and it doesn't work, you are messing with a, with a, you know, with a system and probably you will have to reinstall the game or something. And that's a total mess. So just make a backup, uh, it's easy. Uh, copy, paste again, and you are duplicating the file. In my case, I just rename it to put dot some old because, you know, I, that's the way it works for me. But you can put whatever, you can even leave it like that. So once here we can, uh, you know, click edit with notepad and we will go to this, um, uh, to this, uh, you know, to this uh, very long file. Okay, there, there is a lot of text here, but by pushing Control plus F, we have the we have the the possibility to look for some entry. Okay, we can look for some text, and we are going to look for IK downstrike F. Well, it will. Sh I mean, it will catch all the function keys. We don't want to change them to change them. So we can go, oh, there is a lot of them. Here we are. We have here the I key dot uh, downstrike F for the choice one. What does it mean if you have to, you know, to take, I don't know, to loot some items that you can see on the map or if you want to loot some uh, corpse or somebody you, you just killed, uh, you will be uh, prompt to F. So, you know, imagine the situation. If you are playing with the arrow keys in your left hand and you have to go, to F, which is in the middle of the keyboard, it's going to be very difficult for you to do it. You know, you have to spend some seconds by doing it, and it's a little bit disturbing while, while you are playing. So changing that key can be done here. You can modify this key or this value here when you know in this in this text that is written button ID uh, equals to um, you know open quotes I key down strike F closing quotes. If you change that value there by I don't know. Enter, for instance, which is the, the key I am using, or you, I don't know, another whatever other key you want to use there, you have to do it there, okay? If you go to this uh, original file, because this is the, the old file, you know, I took a backup from, um, it's just for, for uh, showing purposes, but if you go here and you look for I key F, you know, can't find the text. You know, I changed it. Uh, let's try to find choice one so that you can see what I write, what, what I wrote there. We go to choice one. I change it by uh, push pu uh, by putting or reading writing I key downstrike enter. So it's as simple as that. You look for the you look for the for, for whatever key you want to change it, and you modify it. There is a faster way to do so, which is by using the tab replace, and then you look here uh, I K F, 
as we were looking, there is nothing here, but if you go uh, to the old file, as you would have it before modifying anything, uh, you find the next uh, the next key and uh, uh, I mean the IKF. And by using here, I'm entering here in, in the in the field replace with to enter the text you want to replace uh, the, the the original key. Uh, you will put that right. So you can do it one by one, finding and replacing, finding and replacing, or you just can hit the button replace all, which is what I did. You know because uh, IKF is uh, hard binded in many actions. So um, I just, you know, I just hit uh, replace all and it changed IKF uh, with IK enter anywhere in the in the document. So it was the faster way for, for me to do it because you can, I mean, you have really used uh, this uh, first choice or this key in many places. Let me say you something that's important here at this point. Uh, there are something else that we have to take into account. Let me find it. Uh, well, no, I don't find it. Just let me, just give me one second. I'm gonna find this text. Yeah, there you go. Jump button. You know, this is the action of, of jumping. You know, originally it comes with IK space. As you can see here, this, this, text, is in, this text here is in case you want to change something for the control pad but for those who are playing uh with the with the keyboard um uh, originally it comes in ik space right uh that can be overridable by the action jump what does this mean if we go to the user settings.json and we go to jump you will see this action here okay jump uh or in this text uh, where it's written jump uh, it is pointing to this action here. So if you change the value here, it will be overridden there. That means it doesn't matter what you change here, what you put in this in this value in this ID, that it won't it won't work. Okay, it will take the action from this call here. It is calling to this file to the action jump in this file. So the key that is going to use is this one, the one you put here. In my case, it's IK dance strike right shift. You know, that's the that's the key I'm using right now. So uh, whatever you put here is going to be, it will, it's going to take preference over what you put here, right? In this side. So that's the only thing you have to take into account. It doesn't, I mean, for all those actions that comes with an overridable uh, UI action, it doesn't matter what you put here, that is not going to work. You have to change it. In the user settings.json, the first file we were uh, reviewing, to make it work. And this is it, guys. This is the only thing you have to take into account. Uh, you know, this file to change the, the keys and, and you know establish those ones you want uh, or you feel more comfortable with. And then you go to this input user mappings.xml uh, file and change all those actions you can change. All of them do it with this notepad plus plus, really very, very useful. Uh, software you probably will know because it's it's been there since forever ago, and you know that's all. I hope you can you can work uh, fine with it, and and you find uh, you know this uh, this uh, you know this procedure or this workaround, whatever you want to call it, uh, useful for your games. It's a pity that uh, very I don't know very thoughtful or you know very committed uh, studio like CD Projekt Red. Uh, you know, commit these failures or, or release a game with such of these bugs, you know, especially taking into account that they have been developing this game for, I don't know, five years or something like that. So from my point of view, it's a little bit unbearable that they release the game with this with these errors. But at least with this workaround, you can play with it. So bear with me. This will work. Uh, thank you very much for being there. Thank you very much for seeing. Hit the like button if you, if you like. Subscribe for more tutorials that I will be taking or I will be bringing to this YouTube channel. And as I already say, said, thank you very much. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks.